Hello everyone, and welcome. Uh, I'm gonna tie another fly, and this time I will tie a fly that's uh, tied like Michael Perdin's uh, samurai. And uh, before the uh, last, before the season last year, I sent a couple of these to a Norwegian uh, salmon angler. And he kept sending me beautiful photos with beautiful fish taken on on this fly. So it's uh, it looks like a can of banana uh, tied like a samurai without the white underwing and just uh, banana colored wings and uh, as slim wings as I can get them and a little more flash than usual in the in the regular samurais the the, the dubbing is the the flash i don't think he uses any flash in the but i'm not sure but and it doesn't matter i can have a look i have uh, his book right here so my salmon flies with michael fredin but this is tied like a samurai but it's not uh, one uh, yeah, particular Samurai pattern, just something that I made, and he uh, catch, caught so many samples on it that I will tie a few for myself. But uh, this one I will give away to one of the viewers on YouTube. So just uh, we we just start the time. Uh, here I have a, a gold uh, medium tubing, uh, fits tubing, and a black extra small fits tubing to get a little contrast and uh, we start by tying them together as we always do where we have cut that little angle here and we make hard turns so the medium grabs a hold of the extra small nicely like that and here I will start with a little mirage tinsel to get that shiny butt I attach it on my side and then I wind it on behind the thread and I leave about five six millimeters for the hook I will tie a few of these to myself also to bring to Norway this year and see if they can give me some nice fish too and uh, as a ribbing we use sea life silver SSS braid attach it on my side and as the body we of course use the Alta Gold SSS braid and start to wind it forward, cover up where we tied in the Mirage tinsel and work our way forward on the fly And we lock it in with a few turns and then I always fold it over and lock it in with a few more turns. And now I have a dubbing here. This is Alta Gold Glitz, an Alta Gold regular dubbing and a little bit of Hot Magma Yellow regular dubbing. So it's three dubbings in this. And this is what I use for my banana flies that I tie. And first we are gonna put on some dubbing here. Here we don't use as much dubbing as we will use uh, in front of the wings.
this will be good and as you can see I leave quite much here because I will put on two wings some uh, angel hair and then we will put on more dubbing and we will finish it off with a small black soft tackle so we don't have to be so thorough when we tie the wings on it doesn't have to be perfect they just have to be on top slim because we will cover it up with dubbing later on so wind it a bit forward and then fold it back and wind it attach it and now it's time for the brush to brush out this dubbing a little bit like this looks beautiful and let's see if we have a few too long ones yes we have cut those off no tangling in the hook that's against uh, my roots and now we take the first wing which is banana colored and it's pretty stiff I taper this a little bit and this I don't want to be so wide I try to tie it in on top all the strands but uh, symmetric of course but on top that's pretty thin and now I take a few angel hair HD uh, uh, HD is the the thicker ones which I put on here uh, as wide as the wing I fold them back over and tie them in and then I pull them so they just are on top of the wing but evenly spread so I have to pull a few down on the other side that's better and cut the, this off in different length a little bit longer than the first wing like this and now it's time for the second wing which is uh, thinner and a little bit longer And we tie this in on top too. It's not so it landed in the middle. A little bit to my to towards me. That's perfect. And we wind this on. And I'm going to use my little comb. Looks good. That's pretty slim wing. Exactly as I want it. And on top here I take even a few more uh, Alta Gold Angel Hair. But this is the thinnest of them. And they are also going to be spread only on top of the slim wing. That looks good. And these are going to be different lengths too, but shorter than the longest 
hair of the soft hair like this I think it looks really good pretty slim and flashy now it's time for a couple of jungle cop feathers you see you don't have to be thorough here at all because we're going to cover it up in with dubbing and then a black hackle to end it all. So there's, they're kind of fast to tie and they're fun to tie because you don't have to be so thorough. The most important thing is the wing section is uh, symmetric so the fly swims good and I curve these ones a little bit over my fingernail and then I'll tie the first one in on my side with three loose turns it sits really good so let's hope that the other one will be as easy to tie in Curve it a little bit over my fingernail and make sure that it's the same length and it sits where the other one sits. A little bit up that and three pretty loose turns. Now I can adjust them if I want to. Check the length. Let's hold away the wing. Looks good. And the position of them is also looking good. A little down on this side. There we are. Now we can cut off the, the stems carefully because we'll only use three loose turns. You don't have to be so thorough when you cut those off either. And now it's time for the glue to secure the wings really well and secure the jungle cock. Like that. And now the medium tubing ends here. So I will uh, put on dubbing all the way to here. And then we will brush that out. And then we will put on a small black hackle. So now we don't have to wait for the glue to dry. Actually, it helps a bit with the durability if we make the first turn down in the, into the glue so that it's no biggie and uh, tie uh, so as close to the wing as you can the first turns and then just work your way forward and here we use quite a lot of uh, dubbing because we will brush this uh, out So it gets nice and glittery alongside, alongside the fly. And these flies are meant to be fished fast. So I'm really looking forward to fish these flies. Just a couple of more turns. And then we will brush this out and put on the black hackle. this and I push this in a little bit and then I just make a few turns in front here like that it looks pretty good now we're going to brush out the dubbing start with the dubbing underneath because I wanted to 
blend together nicely with the dubbing that we started with. So it makes a natural, it looks natural, looks like we've only done it once. Starting to take shape. And here I use the tip of my dubbing needle to get the strands out good on top so I don't ruin the wing or the jungle cock. Like this. I can brush it a little bit like this to see if there's almost as much dubbing around the fly. And here we will do as we did before, we will take them down, cut them off shorter than the hook will sit, like this. And I don't know about you, but I think this one looks really good. Slim yellow banana wing, younger cocks, and a lot of the dubbing. Now we just need a tiny little black soft hair feather. Tied in close to the dubbing. Two, three, four, five hard turns. And I take my hackle plier and try to make a few nice turns. I moist my finger a bit, put the bobbin in my hand, keep it out of the way, pull the strands back and make it as close to the dubbing as you can. And the second turn as close to the first one as possible. We want this as we want to tie it as tight as we as we can. The tighter we tie it, the more durable it will be and it will look better in the water too, for at, le at least for us that fishes them. Like this. And lock it in. Ooh. Perfect timing. One, two, three, four, five. If it looks like I do these turns uh, soft, without pressure, uh, that's not the issue at all. I use uh, very much pressure when I do these turns. Because I want it to get secured. And now we use my little comb. And look. How it sits, I think it looks really good. And now I would try to use a tungsten turbo micro tube, no micro turbo cone head. In gold, because I want this fly to be as slim as possible in the water. And we take a little bit of glue and we put it on the thread. And we make a few turns with it. And we try to make the turns on the exact same spot. So we can hide this little thread head with 
the X no the micro turbo cone head. And now I need my Niklas Bauer's pipe tube in orange, so I find it directly and I push this one in hard. I push against. Uh, come on. Yeah, it sits really good and the hackle is standing out just the way I want it to. And this will swim nicely in the water and cut off the thread. Take the fly out of the vise and I blow in the back but I don't have to, this is not tied wide, so it's not important. I want this to be slim. And I think it looks uh, very good. It will be slim in the water. And yeah, this is gonna be a dangerous fly to put on. I hope that I have as much luck with this with this fly as the Norwegian man, the Norwegian angler. Now I melted the uh, extra small tubing down and I will push it on my needle to make a good hole. So I can use thick leaders when I need to and this I have a few strands that I don't want to be so long on the fly and this one like that here it is my uh, what should we call it uh, banana samurai with a black uh, front tackle. <laughs> Not so funny name, but uh, he thinks this fly is great, and he ordered a few new ones for this season. So I hope to see some photos with this one in the corner of the salmon's mouth. Also, and uh, as last time. Just leave a comment if you want to win this fly and I will send it to you in your mailbox. And I have two winners from the last video but I don't think that they have answered yet. But I will check out who they were so I can tell you right here. I'm going to my YouTube channel and going into the Scott fly. Sylvain, I have sent you a message here and you get one of the Scott flies, Earl, Sil uh, Earl Sylvain. And the other fly went to uh, Peter Harrison Edge. You also get a fly. So send me a message somewhere, uh, preferably Facebook or Instagram. And uh, with your address, and I will send it to you. So, Peter Harrison Edge, you got a fly also. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel, that would make me very happy. And just click this uh, picture of me here. And uh, if you want to see another film, you can click the the video uh, picture here so thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon again with another fly goodbye and have a great day